Welcome back to my life is a joke number three. <laughs> so before we get started, um, I have with me here a uh, a six pack of Voodoo Ranger because some things. Mm. Some things require heavy drinking. And my immortal is one of those things. And I realized this around uh, yesterday, that if I was going to get through this, it was not going to be sober. Mm. So, forgive me if I take periodic sips. Because, uh... This experience is, um... It's a layer of hell, and, and one of the deeper ones, I think. Let's jump right back in. Right back into, uh, chapter 23. Here we go. Let's do it. <clears throat> Author's note. Dut da folk up, bitches. Urge us jellos, cause I got 10,000 revoirs. Thanks to Raven for the help in telling me about the books, Girlu Rock. Let's go shopping to get. All right. So let me get this straight. She's not writing this from experience. She never read the original Harry Potter books. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Every night, I can feel my leg, and my arm, even my fingers. The body I've lost. The comrades I've lost won't stop hurting. It's like they're all still there. You feel it too, don't you? She's just having Raven, who we know by now is quite capable, um, tell her what it's like, and then writing from based on that. You know, it doesn't make this forgivable, but I think I get it. You know, I understand now how this can be so wrong, because she, she's getting flawed information, you know? It doesn't lessen the rage. It doesn't even begin to lessen the rage. I need another drink. I need... Mm. Uh. Okay. Mm. Wow. I don't even like Voodoo Ranger. The door opened and Professor Rumbridge and Cornelia Fudge stomped out angrily. Then Dumbledum and Rumbridge sought us. Mr. Way, what the beep are you doing? Rumbridge shouted angrily. Dumbledore blared at her. Oops, she made a mistake. He corrupted her. She means, hi everybody, come in. Well, we all came in angrily. So did all the other students. I sat between Darkness and Draco, and opposite B apostrophe Luddy Mary. <laughs> Crab and Goyle started to make some morbid jokes. They both looked exactly like Vil Volo. I ate some Count Chocula and drank some blood from a cup. Then I heard someone shooting angrily. I looked behind me, it was... Vampire! He and Draco were shooting at each other. I think it's supposed to be shouting, but I like to imagine they're just killing each other so I don't have to read this anymore. Vampire Draco WTF, I asked. You fucking bastard. Oh, I'm sorry, bustard. Yelled Draco at Vampire. I want to shit next to her. <laughs> I want to shit next to her. What? No, I do. Shouted no one, apparently? It doesn't say who, who shouted, it just says shouted. There's no name. 
I just said shout it. This is so stupid. No, she doesn't fucking like you, you son of a bitch. Yelled Draco. And no, fuck you, motherfucker. She leaves me, not you, shouted Vampire. And then... He jumped on Draco. No, not in that way, you perv. They started to fight and beat up each other. Dumbledore yelled at them, but they didn't stop. All of a sudden, a terrible man with red eyes and no nose flew in on his broomstick. He had no nose and was wearing a gray robe. We already said that. All the glass in the window he flew threw apart. Wait, threw fell apart. Brittany, that fucking prep, started to cry. Vampire and Draco stopped fighting. I shopped eating. Everyone gasped. <gasps> Darum fell silent. Volzemort! <sighs> Is the letter D that hard to find? You almost got it right, Tara. You were one letter off. Uh, okay, what was what was Voldemort's voice again? Maybe another sip will help me remember. Hmm. <sighs> oh yeah. Appleby, Ebony. Darth Vader. Where did Darth Vader come from? All right, I guess it's Darth Vader now. Ebony, Ebony. Darth Vader said, "It's not even Vader. It's Vader." Said evilly in his raspy voice. Thou have failed a mission. Now I shall kill thou, and I shall kill Vampire as well. If thou does not kill him before then, I shall kill Draco too. Please, don't make me kill him, please, I begged. No. He laughed crudely. Kill him, or I shall kill him anyway. Then he flew away, cackling. <laughs> that's that's Darth Vader cackling. I bust into tears. Draco and Vampire came to contort me. I couldn't make this up if I tried. Suddenly my eyes rolled up, so they looked all cool and gothic. Oh my gosh, she spelled gothic correctly. She's learning. She... She's learning. This is... They... She spelled a word and, it, and, it, and it's an actual word. This deserves a celebratory sip. Mm. Oh. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. I had a vision where I saw some lightning flash, and then Voldramat coming to kill Draco while Draco slit his wrists in a depressed way. How has no one in this story died yet? They're always, like, cutting each other up and, and threatening and, and shooting each other with guns, apparently. Someone should be dead. All of them should be dead, honestly. If I had my way, they'd all just be six feet under, pushing up daisies. And I'm not sorry for saying that. Ah. I don't like to hurt actual people, but fictional characters, I will rip them a new one. <sighs> no, I screamed sexily. Suddenly, I locked up and stopped having the vision. Ebony, Ebony, are you alright? Asked Draco in a worried voice. Yeah, yeah, I said sadly as I got up. Everything's all right, Annaby, said Vampire, all sensitive. No, it's not, I shouted angrily. Tears of blood went down my face. Of course they did. OMFG, what if I'm getting possessed like in De Ring 2? Oh, what was B apostrophe Luddy Mary's voice like? She wasn't the valley girl, that was, um... That was someone else. I'll just have to- I'm gonna make up a new one. I'm sorry the voices are so inconsistent, but I- I can't rem- <sighs> I do my best to, like, repress the memory of- of having done these, so... I don't remember very much about them after the fact. Um... 
I'll just make something up. It's okay, girl. Said B apostrophe Luddy Mary. Maybe you should ask Professor Sinister about what your visions mean, though. Okay, bitch, I said sadly, and then we went. Chapter 24 Oh, that was only one chapter? It already feels like a lifetime. Y'all know what that means. I need a drink. Mm. Ugh. Okay. Author's note. Preps, stop flaming the story. Er, just jealous, so fuck ooh, okay? Go to hell. Raven, fags for the help. Well, we had deviation next, so I got to ask Professor Travolri about the visions. I'll need a Professor Travolri voice. Um, I'm just gonna make... Uh, no, I already did that. Um... I'm, just, I'm running out of, like, original voices to do. Let me just... Well, Dumbledore was Scottish. We can make her Irish. Well, actually, no. That's too similar. Um... We'll make her a hick. Like, even more of a hick than friggin' vampire is. I can't eat you why, everybody. Come in. Said Professor Sinister in Japanese. Oh. Okay, sure. She smelled at me with her gothic black lipstick. She's the coolest fucking teacher ever. She had long dead black hair with blood red tips and red eyes. Her mom was a vampire. She's also half Japanese, so she speaks it in everything. Okay. Okay. She and B apostrophe Luddy Marie get along great. She's really young for a teacher. Today, she was wearing a black leather top with red lace and a long gothic- Nope, we're back to gothic. Spelled G-O-F-F-I-K. It's consistently spelled that way. And I know she knows how to spell the word gothic because I just saw it and made a comment about it. So now, she's doing this on purpose. She's doing this to torment me. I need another drink. Mm. Uh, where was I? We went inside the black classroom with pastors of Emily the Strong. I raced my hand. I was wearing some black nye polish with red pentagrams on it. What is it, Ebony? No, that, wait, that was too much like Draco. This is not easy on me. I hate this. What is it, Ebony? She asked. Hey, I love your nail polish. Where, where, where'd you get it, Hot Topic? Yeah, I answered. All the preps who didn't know what HT was gave me weird looks. I gave them the middle finger. Well, I have to talk to you about some things. When do you want to do it? How about now? Uh, how about now? Now, you know what? It's too much like Draco. It, it's They're gonna blend. I need something different. Um... Give me a sec. Oh, I got it. We'll make her fat. Like, really, really fat. To the point where it affects your voice. How about now? She asked. Okay, I said. Okay, class, fl class fucking dismissed everyone. Professor Travolri said, and she let everyone go. Except for you, Brittany. She pointed at Brittany and some other preps. Please do exercise one on page three. Exercise one on page three. That's the one you're going to do. I hate everything about this. Okay, I'm having lots of visions, I said in a worried voice. I'm so worried, is Draco gong to die? Well, she gave me a black crypto ball to lock in. I looked at it. What do you see? She asked. I said I see a black gothic sky. She spelled it right again! This bitch is doing it on purpose! Oh. Oh, I thought I knew hate before. 
Oh, Tara. You're fucking with me and I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Hmm. I don't... Uh, I don't like it. Hmm. Hmm. Uh. Uh. Okay. Mm. I drank that too fast. Uh, suddenly there was a knock at the door. I looked at it. It was Draco. He was looking really sexy, wearing a black leather fa- fa I can't read! Anyway, a black gothic Lincoln Park t-shirt and black Congress shoes. Okay, you can go now. See you, cunt. Whoa, dropping the C-bomb already. And we're only... Maybe we dropped it on this. I don't know. I don't know, said Professor Sinister. Bye, bitch, I said, waving. I went to Draco and Vampire, was sitting next to him. We both followed Draco together, and I was so exhibited. Oh, you were so exhibited. <laughs> All right, well, you know what this calls for. <clears throat> Another drink. Oh, and we made it to chapter 25. Doing great. Author's note. Stop flaming, okay? If you do not, then it'll tell Justin to bet you up. And it'll tell all the dreads to put Vertas in her computer. One, 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 fuck you. Raven, thanks for the help. All right. I was so excited. Oh, now you're excited. But you were exhibited before. Make up your damn mind, Tara. I fellowed Draco, wondering if we were going to do it again. We went outside, and then we went into Draco's black car. Ebony, what the fuck did Professor Travori say? Whispered Draco, potting his gothic wit hand with Bvork nail polish on mine. She said she would tell me what the visions meant tomorrow. I grumbled in a sexy voice. She never said that. She never said that. He took out a heroin cabaret and spiked it, and gave it to me to spork. He started to fly the car into a tree. Yeah, that's... I mean, why wouldn't he? We went to the top of it. Draco put on some MCR. And all the things that you never ever told me, and all the smiles that are ever gonna haunt me, sang Gerard's sexy voice. We started tiling of each other's cloves. Cloves. Fevently. He took of my Blake thong and my black leather bar. I took of his black boxers. Then, he put his trobing you-know-what into my tool sexually. Wow. You could you could write bestsellers, Tara. You really could. I just it amazes me. You know what? You know what? I'm just gonna. Mm. Mm. Ah. Mm. Uh. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Where was I at? Uh, oh, OMFG, Draco, Draco, I screamed, having an orgasm. That's spelled with an I, by the way. We stated Frenching passively. Suddenly, I fell asleep. You know, like you do immediately after sex. I started having a dream. In it, a black guy was shooting two gothic men with long black hair. Uh, I'm not gonna bother giving them voices, because I doubt they're actual characters. No, please, don't fucking kill us, they pleaded, but he- uh, I'm sorry, they kill us, uh, exclamation mark one. They pleaded, but he just kept shooting them. He ran away in a red car. Red car? Not the red car- 
Oh, dang it, I forgot to turn the sound off of my computer. And now ads are popping up and it's ruining my audio. And I could edit it out, but I won't bother to because I don't even care anymore. If you if it bothers you that much, then 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 you read this. <laughs> This is such a waste of everyone's time. It's a waste of my time and your time. But I mean, you don't care that it's a waste of your time because you like wasting your time listening to me get drunk and hate everything. Anyways. No, oh my fucking god, 1-1, one, one, I shouted in a scared voice. Ebony, what's wrong? Draco asked me as I woke up, opening my icy blue eyes. I started to cry, and tears of blood went down my face. I told Draco to call Vampire. He did it with his Blake Lycan Park mobile. But the worst thing was who the people who were shot in the dream were. Lucian and Sirius 111. Chapter 26. I'm taking another drink. I need to dull the agony. Mm. Oh. If I throw up in the recording booth, it's your fault. Mm. Author's note. Prebs, stop flaming the stree, okay? If oo do not lick the story, then go folk herself, oo fokang prep. Oo suck 111. Oh, why and I wasn't being racist, okay, 11? <coughs> <coughs> oh. Wow. <clears throat> I'm drinking these too fast. Uh, a few mutates later, Vampire came to the tree. He was wearing a black leather jackson, black leather pants, and a good shroud t-shirt. Hi, Vampire, I said flirtily as I started to sob. Why would you bother flirting when you're crying like a bitch? Draco hugged me sexily, triant to confront me. I started to cry tears of blood, and, and then, 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 shit. And then told them what happened. Oh, fuck it! Vampire shouted angrily. He, for, just the number four, started to cry sadly. What fucking dick did that? I don't know, I said. Now, come on, we have to tell Dumbledore. We ran out of the tree and into- Yeah, you can just do that. When you're parked in your car in the top of a, 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 a tree. You can just leave the tree. It's not very high up. You can just leave. You can just- <laughs> You can just leave, man. It's easy. It's easy to do. You just- You go, and then you- And you go. Uh, uh... Uh, Dumb Dumbledore was sitting in his office. Sire, our dads have been shot, Draco said while we whipped some tears from his white face. Enemy had a vision and a dream. Du Dubliodre. Oh, Dublio Dubliodre. Ring ding 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 ding. Dubliodre. Maybe I should make him Spanish now. Like a like Dumbledore Matador. Started to cockle. Ha ha ha! And how do you expect me to know Ebony is not divisional? Bring a ding ding, bring a ding 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 ding. I don't have an actual guitar with me, so I'm just gonna improvise the best Spanish guitar that I can. And I don't care if I'm offending anyone, because this story offends me! I glared at Dumbledore. I don't know who's talking now, I'm just gonna assume it's Enabi. Eben Ebenem and Emba Benab Tara. Look, motherfucker, he said angrily as Dumbledore Oh, I guess it was a he well whatever. See is the toot of Cractor. What does that mean? See is the toot of Cractor. 
I can't, usually her notes are something that I can like decipher a little. That wasn't English. You know very well that I'm not decisional. Now get some fucking people out there to look for Ceres and uh, Lucy and Porto. Okay, ring a ding ding ding. He said in, the, in an intimidated voice. Where are they? Ring ding 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 ding. I'm already getting drunk. I drank those three bottles too quickly. Let's have some more. Ugh. Ugh. I thought about it, then all of a sudden, Longden, I s Longden. For any of you, and I know there's a few, who are actually from England, Longden? Where is that in England? Where is Longden? Not London. Long done. It's a real place. Tara wouldn't lie to us. She wouldn't. She's... She's reliable. Mm-hmm. Yep, you got it. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, 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 I told him which street. He went and called some people and did some stuff. After a few mistunes, he came back and said people were going out looking for them. After a while, someone called him again. He said they had been found. Draco Vampire and I all left to our rooms together. I went with Draco to wait in the nurse's office while Vampire went to slit his wrists in his room. Oh, I hope he dies. We looked at each other's gothic derpressed, <laughs> derp arrest, derp arrest eyes. Then we kissed. Mwah, mwah. Suddenly, Sirius and Lucian came in on stretchers, and Professor Sinister was behind them. Who the hell was Professor Sinister? She changes everybody's fucking name, and I can't remember jack shit. Ugh. Chapter 27. Oh, this is one of the very rare chapters that has, like, a title attached to it. All in lowercase. Vampires will never hurt you. I'm sorry, I just dropped my narrator voice. Uh, author's note. You know what? I'd not give a folk what you preps think about me. One, 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 one. Ugh. So stop flaming the folking story, biches. Thanks to Raven for her love and sport and help. I love oo girl, says I couldn't update. While I was really depressed and I... Ugh. Ugh. Slit my wrists. I had to go to the hospital. Raven, oo rock girl. <sighs> uh, everyone in the room stated to cry happily. I had saved them. I don't know how you figure that. You had a vision of them getting shot, and then... And then they found them, and that was it. Draco, Lucian, Sirius, Bond. Sirius, Bond. Vampire all came to hug me. The nurse started to give them med to give them... To gi Medicine. Come on, and uh, wait. Prof okay, Professor Sinatra. There's a Professor Sinatra now. Come on, and a bee. Let's fly. Let's fly away. Oh, it's. Maybe that was supposed to be Professor Sinister. She was wearing a gothic black leader dress with a. Uh, with a corset top and real vampire blood on it, and how would you know it was real? How would you know that it was real? Could be tomato juice, could be ketchup. I want french fries. I want french fries! French fries would make this all better. Uh, but I don't have french fries. All I have is beer. Mm. Uh. 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 I'm sorry, I'm I'm 
burping so much. I don't usually drink. I thought it would numb the pain. And I don't know if it's helping or not. I just feel, um... What was I saying? Uh, uh, and, uh, uh, black platinum boots. Oh, I think Professor Sinatra is supposed to be tr Travori. I have to tell you the fucking perdition. I locked at Lucian, Seraphs, Drake, and Vampire. See, what? Two of those didn't make any names. Two, I mean, any sense. Shit, I'm almost as bad as Tara. I can't even talk anymore. They nodded. I smelled happily and went into a dark room. I had changed Professor Sinister took out so There's no punctuation there, Tara. There's no punctuation, so it's a run-on sentence. Took out some black cards. She started to look into a black crucible ball. She said... Ellipse, 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 ellipse. Tara, I see dra Oh, okay, it's a self-insert now. It's literally calling her... <clears throat> Tara. I see drag times are near. She said badly. She peered into the balls. <laughs> Take that out of context, please. Uh... You see, you must go back in time. She took out a time toner like the apostrophe Luddy Mary had. When Voldemort was in Hogwarts, before he became powerful, he got his hearth broken. Bork broken. Now, do you think he would still become Voldemort if he was in love? Oh, she's gonna go back in time and fuck Voldemort now? Cool. Ugh. I, sh I shook my head. You must go back in time and seduce him. It is the only way. If he is still evil, then you must kill him. You can come to my room tomorrow and you can do it. Sure. What a riveting story. What a, what a, what a brilliant plot device. Okay, I said sadly. We did death's touch sin. What? I went outside again sadly. What fucking happened? Uh, what, what fucking happened? Asked Draco and Vampire. Ah, uh, okay, um... But yeah, I don't remember all the voices for these bitches. What happened? As Darkness, Willow, and- Wait, weren't you Darkness? Or Tara? Or Eben Ebony? I was about to tell them, but everyone was there. They were celebrating Lucian and Sirius being fond. Everyone was proud of me, but I just wanted to talk to Draco. They were cheesing my name, and some reporters were there trying to interview Dumbledore. A banner was put up. Lots of fucking preps were there, obviously, trying to be gothic, wearing the HIM sign on their hands, despite them not having actually heard of him. Even Mr. Norris looked happy. A Blake and Red Cake had been brought out. Crab and Goik set up some fireworks in the shape of skulls from Wesley's Wizard Wises. Who was Wesley? Whatever. I put on my invisibility coke with Vampire and Draco when we sneaked outside together. Chapter 28. Ugh. I need another drink. I need more booze to drown away the horror of this shit show. <sighs> Author's note. I said, stop gaflamaying the story. It was a miscat when Professor Rilori said that, okay? Go to Fokang Hell. Usuk. Thanks to Filey for the help. Raven, have fun with Kiwi. Oh, is Raven in a relationship with Kiwi? With a Kiwi? A fruit? Uh, I could use Kiwi right now. Delicious fruits. I want grapes! 
I want grapes. <sighs> Why does beer give you the munchies? No, I'm hungry, and there's, I don't have food in the in the apartment right now. I'm gonna have to. After I finish this, I'm gonna have to go and get groceries, or I could just sleep forever. I know I like. I know it was, it was I just slept, but I'm gonna go to sleep forever after this. Not not like death. That not that kind of sleep forever, but like like just like a coma. And I will be free of this shitty, awful story because it sucks. Anyway, chapter twenty-eight. Oh, chapter twenty-eight. That's what I meant to say. We went into a Blake room. The walls were black with portraits of gothic bands like MCR, GC, and Marlon Mason all over them. Ugh. <laughs> a big black coffin was in the middle. Re red velvet lined a blank box. There were three chairs made of bones with real skulls in them. I was wearing a I don't care what you were wearing. I'm just gonna skip over what she was wearing, because we can all guess. <clears throat> we can all uh, guess what she was wearing. Are you okay, Vampir- uh, uh, Oh wait, that's not the right voice. Are you okay? Vampir asked, potting his albastard hand on mine. He was wearing black nail polish. I was wearing black nail polish with red crosses on it. Yeah, I guess. Yas, Queen, slay, I said sadly. Draco also pot his hand on mine sexily. I smiled sadly with my Blake lipstick. The problem is... I have to seduce Volksamort. It'll have to go back in time. Draco started to cry sadly. Vampire hugged him. It's okay, Abobi. Abobi. He said finally. But what about me? You're not gonna break up or anything, are you? Of course not, I gasped. <gasps> really? He, he asked. Sure, I said. We Frenched sexily. Vampire looked at us longingly. Yeah, because there's nothing like sucking face in front of in public that just doesn't everyone loves witnessing two idiots just like fucking combine faces who doesn't love seeing that when you're just walking down the road and you're looking at two people like having a WWE match with their fucking tongues <sighs> uh, what was that oh yeah then uh, I took off Draco's oh they're gonna fuck right here in public in front of uh right in front of Harry Potter vampire that guy uh, I, I took off Draco's MCR shrift and seductively took of his pants he was hung like a Stallone <laughs> I feel like it was probably meant to say stallion but I think Stallone fits better Adrian Adrian I did it that was a Rocky reference for those of you who haven't seen Rocky, it starred Sylvester Stallone, and that was the joke. Shut up, it was funny. He had replaced the vampire tattoo that said Enemy on it. Black roses were around it. I gasped. He looked exactly like Gerard Way. Vampire took a video camera. I had said it was okay before. Okay, sure. I took off my clothes, then we were in for the rid of Erlith. We started fr freshing, freshing as we climbed into the coffin. He put his Spock. <laughs> Spock! <laughs> <laughs> Live long and prosper, Envy. Fucking Spock. Are you kidding me? Spock! Oh, that calls for a drink. Mm. 
No, oh, where was I? Spock. Uh, he put his Spock in my you-know-what, and passively, we did it. I love you, Abbaby. Oh, let me feel you. I need to feel you. He screamed, as, uh, he screamed as we got an orgasm. We watched Vampire filmed everything perfectly. Suddenly... Oh, I don't remember these guys' voices. Uh, what, what the fuck are you doing? It was... Snoke and Professor McGoggle. Chapter 29. Author's note. Oh, Tara, look. <laughs> These author's notes are all the same shit. It's just her complaining that people don't like her story, but she should know better because this story is shit. It sucks! It sucks! <sighs> Oh my Satan! We screamed as we jumped out of the coffin. Snap and Professor McGoonigal started to shoot at us angrily. Oh, what was McGongle's voice? Come now! Preacher McGongle yielded. We did guiltily. We left the room putting on our clothes. Snoop garbed the caramel. The, the caramel? He, he, he garbed the caramel and put it in his pocket. Hey, what the fuck? Vampire shooted angrily. Yeah, Buster, what the fuck are you gonna do with the fucking camera? Draco demanded, all protective, looking at me longly with his gothic red eyes. Look, double whore. D <laughs> Dumble whore? Jeez, Tara. Double, double whore knows your little secret, and if you do this again, then you will go to St. Mango's. St. <laughs> Mango's? So give back the camera. Ha 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 ha. The mystery of Mojik thinks he is crazy. There, there is no way they will believe him. Snoop laughed meanly. Yes, so shut your mapooth, you insolent fools! Yelled Professor McGoggle. She made us come into a weird room with white stones all around it. There were all these weird tools in it. Draco started to cry all sexy and sexative. <sighs> I need more. I need another drink. Another drink we go. Get it? Cause he's a sex bomb, lol. Ta Tom Felnot rules for Lyf, but not as much as Gerard or Sex on Legs. I love you, you fucking rock. Marry me. I hate you. I hate you, Tara. I don't even know if it's your real name. It's I hope it's a pen name, cause if that's your real name, I will find you. That's a promise and a threat. YouTube demonetize me. I'm not even monetized. Fucking come at me, bro. Uh, I started to cry tears of blood. It happens in Vampire Chronicles. Raven said so, okay? So fuck you. Vampire took out a black honker chief and started to wipe my red eyes. I thought you had blue eyes. I said before you had icy blue eyes, but... <laughs> oh, now they're red. <laughs> oh. And then, he... Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, he and Snoop both took out guns using magic. They started to shoot each other angrily. None of the ballots got on each other yet. I took out my wand. Croissant, I shouted. Mmm. Uh, now I want to eat croissants. Delicious French pastry dishes. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a bun, but more French. It's very light and fluffy and... I'm hungry. Leave me alone. Uh, Snap stated to Scram. He dropped the gun, but it was too late. Both of them had run out of ballets. I stopped the curse. 
Professor McGoogle did a spell so that we were all chained up. She took out a box of tools. Then she said, Okay, Severus, I'm going to go now. She left. Snap started to laugh evilly. Vampire started to cry. It's okay, enemy, said Draco. Evergreen will be all right. Remember the city o who took a snake? Snape laughed at- oh my gosh, she spelled his name right. She spelled it- that's not wrong. That's the way it's supposed to be spelled. Uh, anyway, Snape laughed again, and then he took out some whips. Ooh, it's getting kinky. <sighs> what is this story? What is my life? I, st I wanted to be a voice actor, man. I didn't think it would come to this. I didn't think this would be my career. <laughs> I need another drink. <clears throat> oh. I swear, you guys are gonna hate this video. It's fucking disgusting, man. I'm sorry. I can't help it. it makes makes you makes you burp. When you drink too fast, it's what it does. Don't drink, kids. It's not good. It doesn't taste good. It makes you feel weird. <sighs> Chapter thirty. Author's note. Stop flaming the story, okay? We do not know what's even gonna happen, okay? So, full you. If you flam, you will be a prep, so all flamers can kiss my ass. So's for, so's for saying Alzheimer's is dangerous, but that's the mystery's opinion. Cause society basically sucks. Thanks, Raven, ooh rock bitch. No, we screamed sadly. Snap started loafing meanly. He took out a camera anvily. Then, he came towards Darko. Donnie Darko? Donnie Darko. He dies at the end of that movie. Spoiler for Donnie Darko. He took some stones out of his pocket. Poke it. Pup, puk, puk, pape, cup, pop, pape, 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 he put the stones around Draco and knit a candle. What the fuck are you doing? I shooted angrily. Angrily. Snoop laughed meanly. <coughs> he pulled down his pants. That escalated quickly. I gasped. <laughs> there was a dork mark on his you know what. He waved his wand and a knife came. He gave the knife to me. Uh, you, you must stab Vampire, he said to me. Uh, if you don't, then I'll wrap Draco. No, you fucking bastard! I yielded. But then Draco looked at me sadly with his evil gothic red eyes that looked so depressant and sexy. He looked exactly like a pentagram. What? You can't look like a pe- so what, like... like he, he transformed into a fucking upside-down star? Weird star shape with, like, devil symbols in it? This is so fucking stupid. Uh, between Kurt Cobain and Gerard. Oh, does she mean, like, he looked like a cross between Kurt Cobain and Gerard, but because she's apparently a Satanist, she just made it pentagram instead of crying. <sighs> you know, I thought it was stupid before, but it's transcended stupid. It's gone into new levels of... <sighs> uh, but, but then I looked at Vampire, and he looked so smexy too with his gothic black hair. I thought of the time when we screwed, and the time I did it with Draco, and Dumbledore came, and the... The team where Draco almost committed suicide and Vampire was so sportive. Snipe laughed angrily. He started to pray to Volksamort. He started to do an, inc an incapacitation, dancing around the stokes whipping Draco and Vampire. Suddenly, an idea I had. 
Mmm, certainly an idea I had. Mmm. Believe in the force you must. And it have been the end of Avatara's she's Yoda now. I'm not gonna do the whole thing as Yoda because that would kill my throat, but you can just imagine it. Mmm. R2D2. Uh, 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 I closed my eyes and using my vampire powers, I sent a telepathic massage to Draco and Vampire so they would destruct Snape. Because that's a thing you can do and have been able to do the whole time because, of course, I mean, obviously. Double Dork will get ooh, Draco shooted. Yeah, just wait until the mystery find out, the vampire yelled. Meanwhile, I took out my wand. You ridiculous, uh, dunderhead, Snoop yielded. He took off all of Draco's clothes, just as he was about to rape him. Crocio! I shited. <laughs> <laughs> she shited. I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, this story is a lump of shite. <laughs> like, I have to wonder, man. Because <laughs> that's such, like, a perfectly hilarious spelling error. Oh. In a way, it's kind of inspiring. Every time I think this story has gotten as stupid as it can get, she somehow manages to top herself. Um... I'm gonna keep going for a few more chapters, and then um, that'll be the end of this part of the story. Uh, uh, s uh, Snoop scrammed and started running around the room scrumming. Meanwhile, I grabbed my black mobile and sent a text to Sirius. I stopped doing Crucio. See, she spelled it right that time. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry, that's the... <clears throat> But that's the like she she hops back and forth between how the, the like the, just garbage and how it's supposed to be spelled. So I know she knows how it's spelled because she does it right here and there. So why is it always almost always so wrong? I hate this. I hate it. I need more booze. Oh, hey there, Voodoo Ranger. Take me to the place in the sky. Hmm. <sighs> I'm going up to the city in the sky. I'm gonna go there and I die. When I die and they lay me to rest, I'm gonna go to the place that's the best. Woo! This has been Musical Intermission by me anyways you, uh, you you dunderhead I'm going to kill shooted Snape but suddenly Cerverus came what I'm no Harry Potter expert but I'm pretty sure Cer Severus is Snape Aren't, isn't that like his first name Sever Sever Severus Snape yeah, because he was played by Alan Rickman in the movies. Alan Rickman's a good actor. Well, yeah. He was in Die Hard as as Hans Gruber. It's a great, it's a swell movie. If you haven't seen Die Hard with with Alan Rickman as Hans Gruber, you should check it out. It's a great Christmas movie because it because it because it, it takes place. Around Christmas, and that's why it's, it's, it's a Christmas movie. Uh, alright, so he, Snape was here, but then he also came into the room. Snake put the whip behind his back. Oh, hello, Sev. I was just teaching them something. He lied, but suddenly Lucian and Professor Trevori came into the room. And they and Sirius unlocked the chains and put them around Snap. Then Professor Travolri said, Come on, Emmy, let's go. Oh, oh, I think I'm gonna be sick. 
But later, I can hold out. I gotta finish the last few chapters of this. Um. Yeah. Chapter 31. Author's note. I said, shut the fuck up, you queefs? You quiefs? Stop Kaylin Ebony a Mary Sue, okay? We do not even know what's going to, going to happen. Okay, so fuck you. Thanks to my BFF Raven for the help. You know, it's good to see that they they put aside their differences to continue working together on this masterstroke. I mean, whether... I mean, yes, everyone hates it, but, like, everyone knows about it, too. Tara, you got your name out there. The world, the world knows about you. That's technically some level of success, so, like, you know, I mean, you know. She did it. She, like, she achieved some level of recognition in the world, and really, that's, that's something a lot of people are going for, and she managed it, so, yeah, like, you know, good for you, Tara. I still hate you, and I'm, if I ever meet you, I will, I'll say really mean things to you about this, because I hate it, and I don't like you because you wrote it. I'm sure you're a lovely person, but, except you're not, because you created, shut up. Uh, 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 what was, oh, we have a new character. We have to have a voice for Sirius. I'll just give him, like, a regular British accent. I always knew you were on Voldemort's side, you son of a bitch. Wait, now that says, you son of a bitka? You son of a bitka, Sirius said to Snape. No, I'm not. I was teaching him something. Snap clammed. Oh, fucking yeah. I took some black vo Voldemort serum. How the fuck is Voldemort serum? That wasn't in the book. And out of my pocket and gave it to Cerverus. He made Snap drink it. He did angrily. Then Luscious took out a tape recorder and started playing it while he did curses on Snap. He's snapping to a Slim Jim. Snapping to the spice. This episode sponsored by Slim Jim. It's not, but hit me up, Slim Jim. I'll fucking sponsor you. Um. Uh, then Professor, Pro, Prof, yeah, Professor Sinister and Lucian made us get out with them while Snape told his sec secrets. Lucian took Vampure and Draco to the nurse after thanking me a million times. Professor, Professor Trevolry took me into a dark room. Now I was going to go back in time to seduce Volksamort. Moving posters of MCR and Nirvana were all over. Her Hermoine, Darkness, and Willow came too. B apostrophe Lenny Mary gave me a black bag from Tom Ridd's store. What's in the bag? I asked Professor Trevori. You will see, she said. I opened the bag. In it was a sexy, tight, low smut black leather gothic dress. It had red corset stuff and there was a slit up the leg. I put it on. My friends helped me put on black fishnets and black pointy boots Willow had chosen. Willow and Darkness helped me put on black eyeliner and blood red lipstick. I'm not joking, it says shtick. Lipstick. You dipstick. Uh, what was her? You look fucking kawaii, a bitch. The apostrophe Lady Mary said. Thanks, I said. Okay, now you're going to go back in time, said Professor Sinister. You will have to do it in a few sessions. She gave me a black gun. I thought they were supposed to be like wizards, but everyone's going around with guns and knives. Just fucking killing each other the good old-fashioned way. As God intended. Just kidding, kids. Don't kill each other or yourselves. It's bad. Don't do it, no. 
uh, 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 I put it in a strap on my fishnets, like in R Red is Not Evil. Don't drag Resident Evil into this. I actually like the first couple of those games. Then they got stupid and they weren't scary anymore. But the first few were scary. You know, it was... It was... You were in a house and then there were zombies. They were... And they would chase you. It was scary when you were a kid, you know? Because you don't like when things chase you. Um, but then, then she gave me a black time tuner. After an hour, use the time tuner to go back here, Professor Travori said. Then she and B apostrophe Luddy Mary put a pensive in front of me. Everyone went in front of it. Good luck, everyone shooted. Dark, dark ass, dark... Uh, uh. I gotta stop drinking. Darkness and Willow gave me Death's Touch Sin. Then I jumped sexily into Depensive. How do you jump sexily into something? It's just. It's so stupid, man. It's so stupid. It's stupid! Suddenly, I was in front of to school. In front of me was one of the sexiest goth guys I had ever seen. Uh, I mean. Every man we've seen in this story has been that, so fucking... Make up your mind, Tara. Whose dick do you want in you? Fucking... He was wearing long Blake hair, kinda like Mikey Way, only black. He had green eyes like Billy Joe Ar a Armstrong, and pale wit skin. He was wearing a black ripped up suit with Vans. It was... Tom Bombadil! <laughs> <laughs> Tom Bombadil. <laughs> Fucking Tom Bombadil. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I didn't think she could do it. Tara, I didn't think you could do it. She she keeps topping herself. <laughs> Fucking Tom Bombadil. For those of you who don't know who Tom Bombadil is, that was a character from uh, from the Fellowship of the Ring. The book, not the movie. He didn't make it into the movie. Holy shit, dude. Tom Bombadil. Alright, that's all I can handle for today. I'm gonna stop, because this is a... I can't do anymore. So that's gonna be it. We're gonna be done for now, because I'm... Drunk and disgusting. Uh, thanks for listening. One more to go until this shit show is over. I need to go brush my teeth. Uh, and if you liked this, uh... You can... You can check back for more videos on my channel Ugh. or you can throw money at me i'll have a patreon link in the description thank you to my patrons uh 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 i can't remember your names right now i'll just put them on the screen later and it'll <laughs> i'll just put them on the screen thanks guys for that you're you're cool you got <laughs> Alright, I gotta go. I feel like I'm gonna just... I'm gonna be sick, man. Part 3 of my immortal... Ooh, it's over!